Hello, welcome to today's video. This is me, Libya Wangu Chendo. I am online on YouTube channel to talk about coriander tea. Um, the surprising thing is that I've grinded all my coriander. I just have just the powder here for you. coriander i don't know if i can see the seed and show you yeah i think i have one i don't know if you can see it properly this is coriander the seed this one didn't grind properly i ordered for it all the way from joss yeah it's good very beneficial i use it to treat some of my clients that suffer from uh, what is it called thyroid Mm -hmm. thyroid disease i'm not saying i have thyroid though i'm <laughs> just gesticulating to show you uh that thyroid is the type that you know here bulges out if you discover it eat on time get coriander grind it take it non-stop for three months three good months uh an hour before breakfast and uh, lasting at night mm. take two teaspoons all right this is a teaspoon the big one you get a cup of uh if you have aluminium cup please don't drink with a uh, plastic cup use aluminium or glass fill it with water just glass two spoons flip it turn it turn it allow it to you know cool slightly before you drink or you boil a cup of uh, hot water once it's boiling you now take the two spoons of uh, coriander let me keep it here so you know <laughs> you take mm, two tablespoons this is tablespoon of coriander you take it keep it inside allow it to boil then you bring it down and save it allow it to cool slightly then drink it one hour after drinking it you can now eat your food that is if you have thyroid whether hypo hypothyroid or hyperthyroid once you discover it start drinking it it will sh shrink it it will take it away from your body three months non-stop maximum this is the one i prepared for someone you know they are coming to take it so i just want to show you huh? So, thyroid is an herb that is commonly used to flavor international dishes. It's also foreign. It's called Coriandrum sativum plant. It's related to parsley, carrot, and celery. In the United States, this coriander uh, is called coriander seed, while the leaf is called cilantro. When you see cilantro leaf, you know we are talking about coriander. In other parts of the world, they are called coriander seeds and coriander leaves. The plant is also known as Chinese parsley. You know, many people use coriander in dishes like soups. Uh, they use it in India, Middle East, Asia, even here in Nigeria. They use it in Asia to do curry and masala. So coriander leaves are often used whole, whereas the seeds are used dried or grounded. So... We have uh, a lot of things that it does. It helps to lower blood sugar. The coriander seed, like I showed you here, yeah, that is grounded. When you drink it as tea, you see it will lower your blood sugar. Yeah? So you take diabetes medication uh, with caution because it's so effective in lowering blood sugar. Uh -huh. So that is it. It is also rich in immune boosting uh, antioxidants. For some women, you are uh, afraid of going into menopause. You continue taking it. Of course, it will boost your immune system. It will revive and revitalize your internal organs. Are you listening? It prevents cellular uh, damage caused by free radicals. It is anti-cancer, immune boosting neuroprotective effect 
it has it a lot. It will also benefit your heart, your heart health. It will keep it functioning, right? It acts as a diuretic to help your body flush excess sodium and water. And this can lower your blood pressure. Hmm? Some research have already let us know the one that I did. You know, I have certificate in natural medicine from the University of Tasmania in Australia. So this is one of the things I learned. And helping our people, you know, find their feet in natural medicine. Everything we have in Nigeria, in Anambra State, in Africa, is food and medicine. Our food is our medicine. Most of you don't know. Yeah? So, like I told you, it will benefit your heart. Hmm? That is it. If you eat it as leaf, use it to cook. Yes. If you use it as spice, yes. It's very good. It protects your brain health. It makes you uh, to still have retentive memory. This Alzheimer's disease, it will run away. Parkinson, the one that your arm will be shaking and shivering. Multiple celluloses, you know. All these are associated with inflammation of the brain cells. So, this coriander is anti-inflammatory. It contains anti-inflammatory properties and will safeguard you against these diseases. Alright? It protects your nerve cell from being damaged. Yeah? Following any drug induced seizure. Any drug. You know, they, to say, they take a drug. Let me be good. If you start consuming this as tea, as, uh, it contains that antioxidant that will reduce that inflammation. Of course, coriander improves your memory because the plants have the oxidants, you know, to chase away Alzheimer's disease. Anything that will make you to have memory loss. So it's good. It manages your anxiety. It relaxes you. All right? So also, you should know that it promotes digestion and gut health. Gut, you know, for you to digest things properly, healthy digestion. All right? Coranda is a herbal medication. It helps people with uh, irritable uh, bowel syndrome, IBS. Coriander helps to suppress it. If you take it, you have to drink it three times significantly it will decrease abdominal pain and bloating and discomfort all right so coriander here is an appetite to mix to a stimulant in iran in their traditional medicine it stimulates the appetite all okay? right you can see it it fights infection it contains antimicrobial compound that will help fight uh, infection Huh? food born illnesses anyone okay so that is it it helps so get your coriander to help because uh, you'll be surprised to know of these health benefits even though you might not have noticed but it's good it's good for your skin all right if you take it on empty stomach that is when it works well like this woman that I'm treating of thyroid. Yeah. So, an hour before breakfast. Drink it as tea. Or, if you don't want to boil it, you get uh, a bottle. Please, anything you're taking as medicine, stop using pla um, plastic to drink it, you know, because of the hotness. So you get a bottle of water, like a bottle of semen snap or love dry gin, the one that you have used, just wash it, rinse it, then put clean water inside, that three, not three, two tablespoons of this, pour it inside that bottle, shake it, shake it properly, close it, hmm? keep it overnight, early morning. You now bring it out and use your sieve and sieve it. Then the water, the coriander water, you can now do this thing. You can now uh, warm it, all right? Warm it to be slightly hot. If you want to boil it, it depends. Once it's hot, 
allow it to cool slightly then you drink it one hour before your breakfast and also lasting at night if you have thyroid gland problem that is what uh, goiter we found out where take it consecutively for three good months also include exercise because if you are drinking natural tea and you don't exercise your body the patient will not be balanced to a natural therapy all right so include exercise include exercise eat natural food avoid too much carbohydrate eat lots of fruit vegetables egg you know water drink water make water your companion water is very good for all age but once it gets towards the evening time save for reduce your intake of water so this is it for coriander tea it has lots of surprising health benefits immune boosting as an antioxidant heart health brain health digestion gut health it helps fights infection it protects your skin nourishes your body i hope you have learned this today because uh, coriander seed is very good it also tackles diabetes it has wholesome uh, health benefits so let's think home let's think natural this is me db1 guchendo saying thank you for watching this video don't forget to invite your friends family to like and subscribe to my channel thank you once again bye